Hey, Sarah. Well, I'm dead. I wanted to uh, send this song out to you. Um, something I wrote. It's called Shabbat Has Come, and um, you know I would never be be able be in a place to be able to write a song like this. This, if it was not for a lot of inspiration, guidance along the way in the last five years, among from lots of different people, my clergy, but most especially you in your your book and your correspondence with me about that and about chaplaincy. It's just uh, I'm so grateful for it, and it's. It's just been so, so helpful for me. It's, it's led me to a richer and more meaningful life, like it says in that prayer on the bottom of page six of Mishkan Tefillah. So here it is. sits high in that western sky clouds lit up by the setting sun though my spirit it wants to fly starts to dip as that evening comes how can an old man make sense of it all when that old man just wants to feel young. I'm tired of these questions that I seem to live by. My heart needs rest. I'm finally set. Shabbat has come. Shabbat has come. What is it, Lily? My dog wants my attention. Here's a second verse. We fill our days with these endless tasks. Those tasks don't ever seem to get done. It's time to set all that aside Listen to the word given by the one the Sages say we should step out of space Into time and walk on the run Take a deep breath Let it out slowly and relax your mind Rest has begun. Shabbat has come. Shabbat has come. Shabbat has come. Whether you believe that the world was made in six days or in the Big Bang, it matters. day that's been given to you and you're thankful for all you
it's getting better on every every uh, try. Maybe in about ten years it'll be <laughs> worthy for public consumption. No, actually, uh, they my uh, my rabbi liked this song, and I got to do it in front of the congregation last week. So anyway, thanks again, Sarah. Have a good week.